Andres, we're very happy and excited and we have waited for two years to be able to have your exhibition at the Museum of Northern History. This is an invitation from the Contemporary Art Committee and we partner with many places. But thanks to everything that has happened, we were able actually to make this project even bigger. So we're very happy to host you here in 2022 as our guest international artist and curator. We welcome Andres Hernandez. Eh, quiero agradecer infinitamente eh, la oportunidad de estar aquí, de poder participar en todos estos proyectos, eh, la posibilidad de traer obras de artistas eh, de América Latina, eh, agradecer a todos, especialmente a César Forero por esa oportunidad. He is thanking everybody for this opportunity, uh, especially he said thank you to César Forero, but this is a very beautiful example of Latin American art through uh, the process of evolution of Andres' work. We are going to go first to this first piece here, which is a piece that reflects Andres' personal artwork as a, as, a, as a performer and as an artist. He's an artist and a curator as well. I'm going to talk first about the title of this exhibition, which is Physonomy in Contradiction. Physonomy, most people will relate it immediately to the idea of the, of the body, the human body. But in this moment, it's actually referring to the works itself, to the body of work. The works are having a specific identity. It's almost like a metaphor between the multiple mixing medias exhibition and the various different artists and countries. The first piece here is, for example, a piece by a Brazilian artist who it normally works in, in graffiti painting, but in here we were able to transfer the graffiti painting into the gallery space with multimedia installations. The second piece, the blue pieces, is actually an artist from Paraguay. It refers to language. And each one of these uh, symbols that they look almost like beautiful um, um, snowflakes, they are actually either a letter or a complete sentence in the language, in the language of uh, Nyanduti. It could be even like an, like an ABCs, but most, most of the times one simple symbol represents a complete idea. Then we have an idea of feminism. We have various videos in this exhibition. And this one is about the words and feminism. And is the, the poem is recited by the uh, artist herself. The following pieces are about tradition and religion. Uh, this one is a, a Peruvian artist who uh, makes a, an association and a study of how these pieces have an iconographic relation from the past to the present. In the last piece, here in this section, we have uh, commentaries about politics. It's almost like the cracks that we find in certain specific buildings on the streets and how this relates to the political situation of this country. Thank you.